usually I don't post. Usually I don't post, but I want the world to know. Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back. Um, excuse my hair. Um I blew it out to go get a trim today and I still have to style it. Today I'm going to a work Christmas party. I wanna do my nails because I leave to go home early tomorrow morning. Um, look, I have been doing my nails, y'all. I'm sorry I don't have any videos of it, but every time, every time I do it, like something goes wrong, the camera dies, like the lighting is off, it's just a trash video <laughs> all together. But today, you know, anyway, anyway. I'm doing some holiday nails. I do want to show you some more things I got from Amazon to do my nails. Um, this is another set of nails from BT Art Box. This is like my third set. You know, I have the plain pink, the long coffin ones. These are the French tip ones in medium oval. What is that called? What shape is this? I don't know. <laughs> but this is the French tip. So you see it's already painted with white tips. Um, I also got the Protect. The Protect. Um, the French Protecting Duo. So it comes with a Builder Gel. In a box like so. With a builder gel and a top coat so I will be trying that out for the first time they recommended using a builder gel um, over the French tip so that the the tip part you know like the white part doesn't fade over time then I got um, a new gel nail polish so today um, I'm going for like a red uh cat eye i really been liking the cat eye so i got this one uh shanaz some asian brand girl i'll link it all below on amazon but this is what the bottle looks like real cute and um yeah so if you're interested to see how this set of nails turns out keep watching Okay, so I'm going to start with my nails already prepped, which just means that they have been, um, my cuticles pushed back, uh, buffed and filed. So I'm going to start with my McCart. Put that all around. Then the McCart nail primer. Just going to start with picking out my sizes. I know my um, thumb is usually one of the biggest sizes. Let's see. And my right thumb is bigger than my left, so like the left usually does fit that one. And of course, to make sure it fits, you just make sure that it fits sidewall to sidewall, no overlap. All right, so I have all of my sizes picked out. And before I go any further, I'm just going to take my drill to itch the inside of the nail going and I'm just going to take it and itch the inside of the nails gently. Last time I did my nails, I used the Beatles nail glue and the McCart nail glue, and they lasted a really long time. So I'm going to do that again. So first, I'm just going to do a thin layer on the nail. 
like real thin, y'all. Thin but even, okay? Then I'm gonna go in with this one. Let me get my lamp ready. Rock tear. And just do like a dollop right here. I think the hardest part of this has been me trying to figure out how much is enough. Like just right. And then I'm gonna put it on there, 45 degree angle, press it. Hold it for a little bit. And then hit it with the lamp. <laughs> and there it is. Doesn't that look so good? Mm. So we're just gonna do that for all of them. <laughs> so this is the left hand. It's all done. There is a little bit of spillage from the glue. So all I do is take my nippers and go in to clean it up like shoe and there's that so we're gonna do the other hand and i'll be back actually i decided i'm just gonna go ahead and finish this hand all together so first things first I'm gonna use this nail polish. There are, so in my head, so in my head, I would like to have some of these be a French tip. And that is kind of like the real reason I bought like the French tips because I tried to like draw a French tip myself and it was an epic fail. So I wanted these as a guideline. And then this is something, a design that I would wear any other day anyway. So I think I just want these two to have a French tip. So I'm gonna paint the rest of them solid red. So just that quick, I forgot that I was supposed to leave these two blank. So I just got some alcohol to remove the polish. There, like now. Okay, so back to polishing. All right, so now I'm going to do a tilt. To outline this I probably should use a different brush but I'm just gonna go for it So that is what we have and I'm just going to top it with the Builder Gel. This stuff is thick y'all. 